ಸುದ್ದಿ ಟಾಪ್ ಟೆನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೂ ಡೇಸ್ ಮುರ್ಲಿ ದೋಸ್ ಹೂ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಶ್ರೂಡ್ ಇಂಟೆಲೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಇಮ್ ಬೈಪ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ವೆರಿ ವೆಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಆ್ಯನ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ಶೇರಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ವಿತ್ ಅದರ್ಸ್ ವೆನ್ ಸಮ್ ಒನ್ ಡಸೆಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದಿಸ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಹೀಸ್ ಇಂಟೆಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ವಂಡರ್ಸ್ ಟು ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರಿಲೇಟಿವ್ಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ದ ಫಾದರ್ ಸೇಸ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಫೊಗೆಟ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಎಲ್ಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ಡ್ ಎಟ್ ದಿ ಎಂಡ್ This is a meeting of the father and the children. This is not a gathering of a guru and his disciples or followers. You have to have the faith that each of you is a soul. You may live at home with your families, but while doing that, you can make this firm as much as possible while walking and moving around. The father says, first of all, have the firm faith, I am a soul, not a body. The father has adopted me, I am an adopted child. Now, in order for you to become residents of heaven, the father has said, constantly remember me alone, because I alone am the purifier. Those who claim a right to the father's inheritance at the confluence age are the ones who have a right to self-sovereignty and so a right to the kingdom of the world. The children who sit here like crazy people whose intellects wander here and there would not understand this knowledge. It is very difficult for them to remember the father. The golden age is a pure world and the iron age is an impure world. So, this is the confluence of the end of the iron age and the beginning of the golden age. This is called the leap age. We take a jump in this age. We are to we jump from the old world to the new world those who are very good should children will never yawn etc while studying those gurus don't have love in their hearts in brackets for their followers as though they are their children the father has a lot of love for you children and you children too have love for the father <laughs>